Hey Boo Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Patricia Marie. Today we're going to go ahead and go over my spring makeup basket for the months of April, May, and June. These are just the products that I will be using throughout that time frame. Of course, trying new products as I get them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and film this. They're doing some construction in the building behind me and it sounds like they're currently taking a break. So I'm going to try and get this filmed before they come back. If you hear any of the construction, I am so sorry. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, starting off with the uh, primers. First thing I've got here, well, that one doesn't want to come out, is the uh, Pore Professional Light. This is a newer product from Benefits. It's more of a smoothing slash blurring primer, but it's the lighter version. I'm still trying this out. It doesn't do anything for um, like oily skin in regards to like controlling my oils, but I've noticed that if I set this with a powder, then it does a lot better for me. So I'm gonna keep using this and I will update you on this in a video. I also am gonna be using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. This is one of my favorites. I don't know if this brand is still not the brand, but this line is still available or not. If you know, let me know down below. I think it might be only on the Too Faced website, but uh, definitely worth checking out if you've got oily skin. Also gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a favorite of mine. If you um, have not already checked out the Sephora sale, this would be an item for you to pick up. Moving into foundations, I've got this one here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. This is a drugstore favorite, lightweight, great color range. I always recommend this one when I'm doing wedding makeup. It's just a beautiful skin finish. One of my holy grails is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Great for oily skin, also lightweight. This is gonna be like high medium, buildable to full coverage. Love this. And then also going to be using the Bare uh, Pro, oh, Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Foundation. This one is just a natural skin type finish. I've got several concealers here. The first one I've got is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is one of my favorites. I've got a couple from Flower Beauty. These are the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealers. The Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And then I also have the Maybelline Superstay Concealer that I just tried in a, a drugstore video. For setting powders, I'm gonna continue checking out and using this Dollar Tree setting powder. It's just a white setting powder. So there's that one. I've also got the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Deep. The Black Radiant Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Honeymoon. It's a little deep for me and a little bit too red, but I'm gonna try and finish using this up. And then, of course, a Summer Holy Grail, the Laura Mercier one. If you have oily skin, this is fantastic. Comes in three shades the translucent, the brightening one, which is yellow, and then the deeper toned one. The next products that we have here are going to be lipsticks. This is gonna be the Give by uh, Gwen Stefani. This is just a matte red lipstick. So this is in the shade Original Recipe. I received this in a BoxyCharm. This is the Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick. If I could get this open. And it's just a nice brown lipstick, if you can see that. There we go, that's probably a little better. The Hard Candy Cashmere Silk, I actually got this at a Dollar Tree. It's uh, more of like a lip gloss. It says it's a demi matte lipstick, but it is more like a lip gloss. The Charlotte Tilbury, sorry, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, lipstick. This is in the shade Pillow Top. I believe this is the original one. 
I've got another lip gloss by Minted. This is in the shade Bury Me. A lip pencil from NARS. And this is in the shade Dulce Vita. It's really, really pretty. It's a great summer shade. Nice and soft. I also got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm not quite sure that I'll be using this too much because it is a little bit pinky for my skin tone, but I think that I could probably pair this with a lip lighter and it should be good. It's double ended, so it's got a lipstick and a lip gloss in it. So that's really nice for a dollar from LA Colors. I also got a liquid lipstick from Ioni. This is also a Dollar Tree. Uh, definitely a little bit more pink. I got a Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. This is in a purple shade. I say that they're lacquers, but it almost looks more like lip gloss. So, yeah. I'm going to give that a shot. And then I also have a Maybelline um, Superstay in purple. This is in the shade 40 Believer. And then I also have an Ultimate Superstay and this is or Color Sensational and this is in the shade More Magenta. Then there are the lip products. For mascara on an everyday kind of look i absolutely have been loving the ilia mascara this is the limitless lash mascara the brush on this is so interesting so it's got two it's almost like two bristles in one um i don't see if hopefully you can see that so there's one side that's lengthening and then there's one side that's volumizing so that's super awesome i really really have been enjoying this and so i want to continue using this To prime my eyes, I've been using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. This is in the lightest shade. I'm going to finish using this up and then I actually want to get the deeper shade because I think that would be a better match to my skin tone. But this one is fantastic. Like your eyeshadow goes nowhere. It doesn't um, affect the color. It actually just brightens the colors that you have a lot more. So fantastic. I've been using the Dollar Tree Liquid Eyeliner. This is in LA Colors. Or the brand is LA Colors, and that's just in the shade black. I've got a couple of brow pencils. One, the Juvia's Place one that I also just used in the recent drugstore video that I did. And then finishing up the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I've got a lot of Maybelline products in here. Didn't even realize that. When I do apply fake lashes, I do like to use the Duo, so that's in there. The Benefit Brow Setter. I don't know I don't think I like this to be honest like the brush on it is just really uh, trying to see how I can there we go the brush on it is just not my style like it's flat and I find that I like more of a mascara brush when I'm doing my brows and setting them so yeah I'm gonna try and use that up I'm also almost done with the number seven Stay Perfect Long Lasting Value Mascara. This is a Tubi mascara. It's one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow. This is a style of brush that I like to use a lot more. As you can tell, it's more of like a mascara one. So those are the ones that I like. And so I'm trying to be good and use the other one, but it's not really going that well. Then I got three eyeliners. I've got uh, one from one size. This is the black eyeliner. This is a personal favorite. Absolutely love this. I've already repurchased another one. The Aurora. This is a brown eyeliner. So when I want like softer days, I got this in a boxy charm. So I'm just kind of testing this out. This is in the shade Espresso. And then I have the Sephora retractable eyeliner, waterproof. This is a like pencil one or you know like a retractable like it says so we're gonna try that out and see how i feel about that i'm screening those things over just a little bit i'm gonna go into 
other complexion products to a degree. So I've got blush and bronzers over here. So for the bronzer, let me start with that. I just got this four pack from um, Essence. I absolutely love this. Like, I'm sure that this is probably something I need to throw out, but we're not there yet. I don't want to, we're not doing it. And I just go in with like the bottom two shades. Absolutely love it. For blush, I've got this Milani Cream Blush. This is in Coral Crush. I also have the Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Love. I've got a e.l.f. Putty Blush. Of course, those don't actually say shade names on them. So there's what that one looks like. It's definitely more of a fall color, but I'm going to rock it. From LA Colors, I have this blush. Um, it's called Very Plum. I wasn't sure if there was a name on that or not. And then from ELF, this is a, almost I could use it as a blush and a bronzer uh, because it's more red tone. It's called Always Spicy. So when I don't really feel like doing both, I'll go in with this. I also have a contour stick from my um, Dollar Tree video. I've been wearing this a couple of times, but it doesn't really show up on my skin tone. So I wish they would have had like deeper tones. I will probably be decluttering this one because it just is not showing up. So, but I'm going to keep trying it, you know, I'll try it a couple more times and kind of see what happens and then take it from there. Also these LA Colors um, eyeshadows, very soft. But I'm going to continue to try them out as well. For highlighter, I've been using and enjoying and will continue to use the e.l.f. palette. It's just so convenient, you know? Like, there's six shades in one. They're smooth. They're blendable. They are pigmented. Like, for the price, I think this thing was like $10 for all of these. So, I really do enjoy this one. This one um, performs high-end. Like, you can't tell that it's e.l.f. And then I got some eyeshadows here. The first one's going to be the Juvia's Place, the Bronzed Goddess, nope, the Bronze Rustic palette. Then we've got the Sweet Talk by ColourPop. This is a spring favorite. So if you do not have this one, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend getting this because these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Love it. In my boxy charm, I got the Violet Voss uh, Violet Sunset. So it's got some purples in there, like purple toned shades. Absolutely gorgeous. So excited to use this. Also have the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's. A lot of Juvia's Place palettes because they're colorful and they work. The Warrior Two by Juvia's Place. This is an all matte palette. And then the Tribe by Juvia's. And this one I've had for a while, but I am feeling like this row right here lately. I can't get enough, so that's that. So that's a super quick rundown of everything I'm gonna be using for April, May, and June. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see me actually use these products in action. Let me know if there's anything you're super excited to see me use and I will be sure to get that in a video ASAP. I love you guys. I pray that you guys have a good day and that God continues to bless you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.